Hello everybody. What better time to make a great introduction is to do it at night time. Why? Well, remember the video that I released on uh, a week or two ago that put in the new wiring harness, how you know, how much more stable, how much stronger it is you know, to put that in for your lighting upgrades. Now the seal beam, the seal beam halogens didn't do a whole lot of difference for me. And so upgrade to the hell lenses as you see here. These lenses are awesome. They come with bulbs, and but the bulbs not so much. The bulbs come with it were 5560s, and they lasted for about three days in blue. Yeah, and we got me a ticket from it. Cop was really cool though. But you'll see that story a little bit later because, well, of course, I've already put the no lenses in. But anyway, so they lasted three days later. So I went and got me some super uh, silver stars. And there's a huge, huge difference coming from these um, halogen seal beams, then going to the Hellas H4s. Great, big, huge difference. Much wider light, all that stuff. It's really cool. But then I went to the, to the Silver Stars, and it was absolutely awesome. I mean, it was like night and day difference. So you know what? I can sit here and keep gabbing and telling you about this, or we can just get on with the show. Everyone, let there be light. Let's do this. Okay, you guys seen the video of uh, the uh, relay harness, where I upgraded the wiring harness? Okay, they did, okay, didn't really do a whole lot for the factory seal beams that were in it, but my Jeep really never has a major, never has had a major problem with electrical issues, luckily. Uh, had the fuel gauge issue, but that, you know, cleaned all the contacts behind the cluster that fixed that. I'll put a link in down below if you guys want to see that. So, I don't know, enough of rambling. Let's do this. All right, first thing you want to do, well, I'll tell you what, start out, if you haven't seen the video, there's the wiring harness. I still haven't attached this down, but it's not hurting anything at the moment. So, okay. Here's the first thing you want to do. Now, mind you, this video also, if you just want to simply change your headlight out, you can do, this is the same scenario. If you just want to simply change, put Silby's back in and not upgrade your headlights, same scenario. So, here we go. You gotta screw here, 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 and here. Phillips head screwdriver. Take them out. Okay, once you get those four screws out, you simply take your finger here, bezel this right off. Now the next thing we have to do, screw there, 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 and there. Take those out. Alright, once we get these four screws right here removed, what you want to do then, you got this little trim ring right here that holds all that in, holds the headlight in anyway. Take it gently pull back on a little bit, that comes out right there. Now what we're going to do, now if you guys notice, there's one thing I did not mention, there's a reason for it. What I did not do yet is unplug the bulb. Now as you, now you're, if you're still running the factory wiring harness, your uh, plug will not be green like this. Yours will be this one. It'll be black like this. The reason I left that plugged up with is that, say for instance, you get all four screws out, you get that little uh, ring out right here, the bulb can fall right out. This is kind of like a safety precaution to allow you to put one hand in front of the bulb here, in front of the lamp there, and unplug here. That way you get your hands hold the bulb before you try to, you know, so you can remove the bulb. Otherwise, it could fall out you know, I'm not going to say on my concrete driveway, for instance, it could pop all bust and then yeah, I got a mess to clean up. So, therefore, now that you got all the screws out, got the trim ring off, or after the retainer ring or whatever you'll call it, we're going to unplug this. Now, here's the two, the two systems side by side. This being the old school seal beam that whenever you go to the auto parts store, you buy one big bulky box, and that's what this is. This is part of the Hella upgrade kit for the uh, H4 conversion kits. It's got H4 right in the middle of it. Uh, you use the H4 bulbs on these. This lens, once you get it put in, you no longer buy this big piece right here. You just buy one smaller bulb. Here's the bulb that you will purchase you know, for replacement bulbs for this right here, for replacement bulbs for this particular lamp. Now when you buy this Hella kit, you will get 
two bulbs and two lamps now this is not the original bulbs come with these lamps right here the uh, original hellas one of them lasted for like I don't know, three or four days and went out so this right here is actually Savannah, uh silver star bulb much better bulbs anyway and so basically these things go install very easily what you're going to do is oh by the way see the glass and also i got my fingers way back here i'm not touching that glass right there do not touch the glass on these h4 bulbs or any bulbs that's like this simply because the uh, grease or oils from your the, the natural oils not from like changing the valve cover or something like that but the natural oils from your fingers from your skin will put a hot spot on that bulb and it'll cause it to shorten its life so anyway here's what we're going to do take this bulb put it inside there like that flip that retaining lock over then you squeeze this in push down and come across it locks it in place see the bulb is now locked in place now I'd also like to point out too this, this lamp right here these lenses they are solid glass none of that cheap euro crap it's got the plastic fronts right here now, this is legit real real glass good stuff will not fade over time will not haze all that stuff that people totally hate about plastic lenses do not have to worry about that also included with the kit is these dust boots now first problem with looking at they look like there's not whole, enough room inside the bucket where the headlight goes back up inside for these things to fit in there but they do and what you want to look at look inside right there see those ribs take your cap your dust cap your dust, dust boot fold it back like this put it over those three prongs like that see how it's coming in right here push it in until it bottoms out then fold the boot back over this ensures that your prongs here are sticking out further enough that you get proper engagement for the plug being snapped on. Okay, now we're going to put the lens, the new lens, into the bucket. And you just want to put it in. You say I'm here holding the camera, otherwise I'd be plugging that plug up in the back to make sure it doesn't fall out. But you put that in like that, then you plug that in from the back. Okay, now put the plug back onto the bulb, and now all we do is put everything back together like you, like you took it apart. This ring. Notice, just in case you forget which way it came out. See, so you got here and here. See how narrow that is? They go up top. See how wide the bottom is? They go to the bottom. And just put the screws in when you get lined up. See, let's see right down at the bottom. Yeah, I don't know if you see enough. Those holes are lined up, so. Put the screws in. Once we got those four screws put in, see them right there. Let me give you a suggestion. Don't try to put like put the corner in right here and tighten it down. Next one in and tighten it down. Don't do that. Get one screw started. Get another screw started. Another one started. Another. St just get them started. Do not tighten them down to get all four of them threads engaged. And once all threads all the threads are engaged, then go ahead and tighten it down. So, next, put the trim back on, and put your four screws back in. One, two, three, four. And there we go. We have upgraded headlights. They even look better. A lot brighter glass. All right. There's the old bolster laying there. I'm going to trash that rascal in a moment. And here's the upgrade harness that I mentioned earlier. And notice how the engagement of this goes up onto those prongs right there. Good proper engagement. That's where you want to really push that boot, that dust boot up on there very well. So that way you got proper engagement of this locking onto this. Now if you just do it simply doing another head, a headlight swap, you know, for the seal beams, you know, $8 seal beams from one for another. You know, you don't have to worry about this boot because it's not going to have one. Um, when you first put the 
lamp end, you can feel some resistance when you push it on the front of the glass. Excuse me. If you kind of push, it kind of feels kind of tight like it's springing back. It's okay. Because what's happening is this boot is getting compressed by these fingers here, which is fine. Because it's going to hold that boot up against that glass like it should be. Now, that boot serves a purpose. It keeps uh, dust and water from being, you know, going inside the lamp and getting to the bulb and causing your bulb to blow out, or at least shortening its life. So you do want to put that cover on right there. So I showed you, I mean, this is the passenger side of the Jeep, obviously, that I showed you, but both passenger and driver side goes on the same way. Now, obviously, still got light out here, so there they are, all lit up. They look pretty good. They're definitely wider than the halogens, the seal beams that came out of it. But I guess the true test is going to be is when we hit the road. So instead of hitting the go, I'm ready to go to the gym, but I think I'm going to wait for a little bit. I want to get good and dark, then I'll take out to the gym. We'll see what the difference in the headlights are at that point. So we, I'll be back out in a little bit for another test. Okay, there it is, shining against my shop door, and definitely, definitely a sharp cutoff versus those uh, seal beams and just spraying light everywhere. Those are very, very well controlled. It's gonna be interesting when I get on the highway what they look like. Uh, what well, you see there's low beam and honestly what you're seeing through this camera and what I'm seeing is two different things It is a huge difference So you know, let me hit the high beams real quick see what they do Well, there's the high beams and again, well the camera's not doing this justice whatsoever I mean what you see all the black area around your screen right there and then you see all the light in the center of it I mean, it's just totally blacking out what the difference in it huge huge difference i am so very glad i did this upgrade i may have to adjust my headlights a little bit re-aim a little bit but that's going to be for another time but i'm seriously happy with the upgrade so far so what i'm going to do is head back in the house get changed get cleaned up and get ready to hit the gym we'll get a little highway time in see what they look like on the road seal beams in. I have pretty decent uh, well I mean this aligned pretty well correctly but I think these right here aim a little bit high. So what little time I've been out I haven't had any kind of uh, anybody flashing the lights at me or anything so I guess I'm okay but I haven't hit the high beams yet either. And I've had a lot of traffic so I really haven't had a chance to hit the high beams yet. We can see over across the street. Boom. Poster, you can see how deep, how sharp the cutoff is on these lenses. Really cool, really cool. Uh, 
uh, seems to control the light really well. I definitely like to get better bulbs because like I said these are just 6055s. No thing out, no special coatings, which I'm not down with the blue coating or anything like that. It's not my thing. But I, I like I like performance, not just looks, you know, as far as when it comes to lighting or engine performance or anything. I like performance, not just the wing wing. So I really contemplate you know, doing a bigger, brighter balls, so but I'm also thinking about HIDs. So you guys gotta give me a clue what you think. Now, if any of you guys have run this, um, these type of lenses that goes in these Jeeps and this run HIDs, and I'm thinking as far as Kelvin temperature, I'm thinking the ballpark around 6,000 Kelvin, 8,000 Kelvin, but I'm definitely not going any higher than that because 6,000 is a good white, 8,000 gets that bluish tint to it slightly. Anything above that starts turning into really blue or purple, and it's just not my thing, that's all. And a buddy of mine, he does HID conversions a lot on cars, but not necessarily this style of headlight. And uh, even he says that once you get above the 8,000K on the Kelvin Tim, you start losing the distance. So, you guys let me know what you think about, you know, if you like these lights and see the difference it made in it, cool. Um, also, let me know if a few of you guys have, uh, any of y'all have uh, used the HIDs in these type of lenses. The really interesting notes, I hate to spend the money and they really suck, or well, these lenses can't control the light pattern. I'm getting bright lighting by everybody. So, you guys give me a heads up what you think. Alright, everybody, I got back here on this old uh, Backwoods Country Road right here. I just want to give you guys a quick example. Right now, Again, I'm running the H4s, Hella conversion lenses, uh, Sylvania Superstar bulbs, uh, the Vision Plus lenses, what they are, the Hella Vision Plus. Okay, right now I'm a low beam. If you notice, it's got pretty, I hope the camera's picking it up, it's got a pretty decent cutoff. I mean, these lenses are awesome, really are. Okay, low beam, high beam. Notice the high beam kind of concentrates right in the center. It shoots outward pretty good. And I'm looking at the lens of the camera is really not paying justice as, as to what it's lighting up. I mean, there's a tree out there, probably a good, I don't know, 75, 80 yards. It's lighting that tree up really well. It's that little stick right in the center of oh, the light. Yeah, if you look, it's kind of left of the little turn. You see that little stick right in the middle of the light, as Lars said? That's that tree right there. So... No, actually, that's a telephone pole looking at through the uh, yeah, lens. Sure enough. Oops, okay, so that's not a tree, it's a telephone pole. Once upon a time, it was a tree, that's it. <laughs> so out past that to the left is actually the tree, which I don't see the camera picking it up. No. But trust me, these lenses, these lenses and these bulbs are really a massive, huge upgrade for the YJs. And even the TJs, you can get the conversion lenses for those, and it's a huge difference. So I really, really do recommend the Hellavision Plus lenses and the um, Sylvania Silver Stars if you want to run standard H4s, but you also got to get the um, conversion harness. If you go to my website, I uh, almost said wrong website, whoops. If you go to my website, www.fixjeeps.com, I'll put a link in there somewhere where you guys go directly to the page to uh, find the part numbers to the conversion harness and the lenses and the bulbs so or some or bulbs that are equal so i just begin see there they are on high beams low beams it disperses the light out real well you can see off to the left a little bit nice sharp cutoffs i really highly recommend these and i'm really glad i did it i wish i'd done it a long time ago so let's pull up a little bit Seeing what the camera says, two different things. This lighting of trees up way up ahead of me on this little country road. Anyway, there you go. Nice little uh, show for the nighttime. 
like I said earlier, I'm not looking at doing HIDs at the moment, but I'm working on auxiliary lighting, like your off-road lighting. Lighting. I've got a set of LEDs that are going to be installed real soon. Do a little uh, cubes. And I've got some really cool tricks for relays coming up for you. So be sure to check back. Subscribe. That way you'll see the uh, videos when I release them. So I've got some really cool relay tricks. Hey everybody, hope you liked the video. And if you did like it, give me that thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. Comment down below if you think I headlight upgrades you feel is, you know, really been a very good upgrade for your Jeep. Let me know. Tell me about it. You know, which ones you like the better than others. Give me a reason why. Uh, also, there's also, there's always a question of um, legalities. Is it legal to upgrade your headlights? Well, I mentioned earlier in the video that I had gotten a ticket because one of my headlights went out. And while I had the officer there, very nice gentleman, very nice guy. I asked him, I said, sir, and my, what is the, I said, you see these HIDs, these blues, these purples, and these crazy colored headlights and stuff that are like crazy bright anymore. And I asked him, I said, what is illegal, what is legal about that? Now, mind you, I'm in Tennessee. Now, this may be different for wherever you're at, whatever state, whatever county, whatever city. It can, it can vary from one place to another. So, check with your local laws before you do any kind of headlight upgrades. You know, what I was told is that as long as the headlights are properly aimed and not blinding people, it's really not an issue. Uh, DOT standards, all that stuff, really not an issue around this area, from what I was told. But it's more than sold than anything. It's about making sure the headlight isn't so bright that bright, or improperly aimed that it's blinding people coming at you. Uh, he did. And I said, okay, what about like your light bars? Um, I kind of knew the, what was going to be said with this, but your overhead light bars like your LEDs go above your windshield. I kind of knew what the answer was on this, but I wanted to hear it. Um, he said your front, like front driving lights, front fog lights, you know, those are fine, obviously, because cars come out of factory with them. Your windshield mounted ones and your overhead, like it goes over top of your, uh, over top of your windshield, your light bars. Do not run those on the road. He said he guarantee you'll get your tail busted for those. So, you know, there it is. I was, I was told that by an officer. So, again, check with your local laws, your city laws, your county, even your state, before you go to upgrade and say, so you don't get yourself in trouble. So, everyone, if you like my video, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you have it. Comment down below if you've got any cool upgrades you've done for uh, lighting to help better visibility. So also, one more thing, share out the video, share out that knowledge. When you share out knowledge, you're spreading the knowledge and that helps everyone. And also, check it out, www.fixjeeps.com. This is where this video is going to land and all the other ones. Not to mention, if you go to that fixjeeps.com, you'll find the part numbers for the upgrades that I've done for the uh, relay harness and the uh, bulbs and the lamps. Let's see, I'll get out, man. So go to www.fixjeeps.com, check out the site. So everyone, I really appreciate you hanging out with me. And my best thing I can tell you guys, I want you, I turn to YouTube land. Have yourself a great day. Peace out. Later, y'all.